Hello everybody, thank you for watching my video. I will be talking about leadership. Um, leadership is a quality that uh, a person possesses to motivate and energize a team to do their tasks more efficiently. Someone who literally sets an example uh, for others to follow, like a role model of some sort. Um, however, I feel that not everyone is born a natural leader because there are certain aspects and qualities of becoming an effective and responsible leader. A responsible leader, in my view, should be an effective leader who believes in uh, long-term results, at the same time maintaining the short-term targets. There are many qualities and aspects of becoming an effective and responsible leader. But to me, the most important are vision, communication, and courage. It's very important to have positive vision for any responsible leader. It's the part which needs to be reliable, sustainable, and practical in the long run for the stakeholders to have trust, motivation, and commitment. A true responsible leader is able to construct his own path to promote efficient results by directing his energy and resources to bring positive growth in the organization. Another important key aspect, in my opinion, for a responsible leader is communication. I feel that a responsible leader should have excellent communication skills to express his or her ideas to the team of stakeholders. It's the key and initial step before the launch of any initiative. A good leader has the ability to convey his vision by effective communication skills in such a way that it quickly triggers and influences the team to do the job more efficiently. Moreover, effective leaders have the ability to regularly communicate with their team as well as the clients to understand their problems or their suggestions. It's also important for responsible leaders to use the help of communication skills to understand and support their team's strengths and weaknesses to assign them in the correct positions where they can bring out the best of their capabilities. I believe there is a strong link between responsible leadership and courage because certain decisions can only be taken if you have the confidence, resources and belief to achieve the target vision. If we want to build courage in teams and organizations, responsible leaders have to be daring because in the world of business or elsewhere, half of the battle is usually won if you are brave. However, it is equally important for responsible leaders to do the research and prepare the appropriate feasibility report before pursuing any action. If we analyze in the current pandemic of COVID-19 that affected the whole world, many courageous leaders in the field of medical science emerged as national heroes by risking their lives for the protection of others. These initiatives ultimately reflect care and connection between leaders and the current manufacturing and trading company that I worked for, I had closely experienced the issues faced by the sales team in meeting deadlines because the operations were either scattered in different regions or the techniques were mostly manual. Hence, it was my vision to centralize the whole operations and factory system and invest in particular machines that would save a lot of time in production. And I did my feasibility report on it and I submitted it to the chairman, which was highly appreciated by him and accepted. And uh, we are hoping for a better future in the business. I always used to be shy and soft-spoken at the workplace, but lately I realized that communication is very essential for any leader. It's the means of continuous feedback, but communication is no guarantee that it will solve the problem, but at least it brings hope and determination within the team. I used to hold monthly meetings with my sales staff to communicate the sales targets and understand the issues that they were facing and achieving them, to try to find the solutions together. There are many risks a leader takes in business because business itself is a risk. But for me, one of the toughest decisions was when I dared to accept a tender from the government for which I knew that I did not possess enough uh, capital. But I still took the risk and accepted it. And with the help of some resources and uh, others, 
I was able to successfully complete the job and bring my company out of crisis. I hope you liked the video. Thank you.